to show you how to use requisition worksheets in Dynamics 365 Business Central to replenish your inventory for purchased items and transferred items. This does not apply to assembled items or manufactured items. So let's get started. The first thing I did is I put in a new sales order. This is dated on January 15th. If I highlight a line and look at the additional information, I can scroll down here and see that I've got an issue. My item availability is minus 40. Second line item, same thing. I'm down 40 items. So I need to replenish my inventory for these two items. To do that, I'm going to go to Requisition Worksheets. Right now, my worksheet is brand new. It's blank. So what I want to do is calculate the plan. So I'll go to Process, Calculate Plan. But any date here specifies a date beyond which all orders will be disregarded. So let's run this. So the system looked at my order activity and picked up the two line items I had on that open sales order. You can see the quantities right there. So the next thing to do is turn this into a purchase order. So I'll go to process, carry out the action message. And those two lines from my requisition worksheets have created two purchase orders in my system. So all I need to do from here is receive those POs and then invoice them and I'm done. Then I'll have those item quantities in my inventory so I can safely release that sales order. It can be picked and shipped out to the customer.